I'm here at the B6 headquarters in Dubai and today we're going to walk around with a couple of their 3D printing specialists and check out the 3D printed facade for their headquarters that they built. Right now I'm sitting at a table that they printed with their system. Hopefully we'll get a look at their printer, some of the other things they've printed. It should be a really great video. My name is Jared Gross and I've been traveling the world to every 3D printed construction site I can find. This is one of the larger projects I've seen. It's not a completely 3D printed building, but it's a great example of how this technology can be used to revitalize construction of the past. Hi guys, hi Jared, uh, thanks for having me. Uh, my name is Benoit, Benoit Murator, I'm the co-founder of B6-3D and you're here basically uh, where our studio is, uh, you know, printing. And um, the building behind me is the new headquarters of, of our mother company B6. And um, we have had the opportunity to do the, all the facades for its two buildings actually, uh, fully 3D printed which was a, an amazing showcase for us uh, and a great example of, of what kind of combinations and uh, tests we can do with the 3D printing. So we're gonna make a tour of the studio, we're gonna have a look at the robot, uh, we're gonna have a look also at a few uh, cases and trials that we, that we made. Um, so hope you'll enjoy it. So here's just a closer look of, of the facade uh, elements. Uh, basically these have all been printed here in the, in the studio and it's a copy paste of the technology used uh, as GFRC. Um, it's concrete elements but it's not structural so it's just basically hanging on the wall and it was easy for us to, to actually test these elements exactly on the way they are supported here on the facade. Um, so it's for us a great, uh, great opportunity to, uh, to showcase that, uh, that application which I think is uh, excellent for, uh, for concrete uh, 3D printing. Basically all the elements were printed all together and just so cut. You can see the so cut and it's just hanged so all the elements are, are a bit different. Um, they could have been also printed with different shapes. Now we've just went for something smooth, uh, architecturally speaking. Uh, but the, the, the system is quite, uh, quite simple. You're lucky also because we've just cleaned it. Very easy, so these elements are all waterproof, they, they've, they've been tested and the ID here when you clean it is, is just washed away and, and again these have not been painted so the color that you see is natural color, we, we are using a white cement base uh, for the application so our concrete gets directly out of the print like this and there is no treatment expect except the water uh, proof. Uh, and as you see, I mean, these have been now two years on and it looks as new. Do people come and visit and what do they think about seeing the project? Well, a, lo a lot of people are actually uh, coming in. I think, I think this is one of the first applications of these specific elements at a really large scale. I mean, we have two, two buildings here. Um, well, obviously these have been printed about two years ago. So quality of the prints now uh, in the industry have also become better. You, you will see it on, on other applications that we've recently printed. But, but we, we, we like the, the natural feel uh, of, of these elements. And at the end of the day, it's a, a common application that is used uh, as, as facade elements. So that there, is no, there is nothing completely secret around, around this. Um, so it kind of reassures people to see that we can have quite similar applications with then the benefits of these elements being able to be 3D printed, which comes in with, as you know, less material used, faster print, and uh, the rest is just placing. It's quite easy also. Can you talk a little bit about the parent company, B6? Yeah, so B6 3D is, is been a, a small part of, uh, of B6. Uh, B6 is a main contractor, is an international contractor based uh, from Belgium uh, more than 100 years ago. Uh, the advantage for us being part of, of B6 basically is, is to get that industry uh, practice experience, feedback, engineering uh, and applications and also the opportunity to use our prints uh, within, within the, the company projects. 
So that, that has been a, a great, great help for us because obviously 3D printing is, is a new technology, so it needs application to be able to, uh, to showcase and that's where uh, basics comes in really handy. Also the, the engineering support, uh, because these elements, as I said, have been tested. So today 3D printing, the way it's analyzed, we are still doing physical testing to make sure that these elements will be able to uh, sustain um, with time. Here is our studio, basically where printing comes to life. Um, the process of 3D printing concrete is, is quite simple. You have concrete, it's not concrete really, it's cement uh, material that we are mixing with water and that is then injected into the robot. Uh, so here in the facility basically since we have quite a lot of prints we, we have a silo outside where all the material is, uh, is set and it's injected through the wall to the robot that we're gonna see a bit later on. Um, that allows us to just keep on going with the same material for quite some different prints uh, just to make sure that we, we have exactly the same material used for all the pieces. What are some of the benefits of having it outside? Well, the benefits of eating outside is just because it's big to get inside. So there, there, there are not much benefits. Uh, it's, it's actually something that, you know, here outside you, you feel more the, the humidity and the heat, especially here in Dubai. So we, we had to isolate the, the silo uh, and, and we had to, you know, take care of, of the way the material there is set to make sure it doesn't take the, the humidity or keep the heat and, and lock basically the entry uh, to the system. Better for dust control outside. And it's, and it's better, yeah, correct. But you, when we are using it, you will not see dust. Uh, really? but, but, but you're right, it's, it's, it's better that you know, the, the, the storage is, is outside the building, because otherwise you define the whole space just for storage, which is not the... Uh, and what about the mixer pump system? Mixer pump is inside, if you want to go have a look. So, uh, well, it, it's quite common also in the, in the 3D concrete printing. It's an MTEC. Uh, pumping, um, we're gonna see it inside. It's just mixing cement base a powder with water. So you use two MTEC pumps? Yeah, so there is one pump to pump the material inside, and then inside you have the pump for the mixing, and the pump that is sending it then through the robot. Here's the print facility where they complete all of their elements, like a facade we saw and some other things later on have at the Dubai Expo 2020. They're using a Kuko robotic arm and an M-Tech pump over there. Their operator has experience working on multiple projects. The municipal building, uh, a project with Mar. They've worked on sites with an Apple's core machine, a Cobot machine, and now this machine. Giving them a really good perspective on the industry. We're gonna hear from them in a minute. <laughs> My name is Mikhail Samoylov. I am a 3D printing specialist in Basic 3D. Uh, I joined the company four months ago and uh, I'm working with uh, operating of the printing system and also doing all the printing operations, also uh, developing the lifting methods, uh, installation on the, on the side, the rest of the things which is related to the printed elements to be produced. Uh, so here is our studio, uh, uh, Robot Arm Luka, uh, and the Dominus 2000. So we also have a connection with the uh, operation uh, system for the outside. So the is uh, automatically without uh, the manual work. And uh, then we can print uh, some small elements around uh, 2 by 3 by 2 meters on both sides of the printer. And for while they are using the front side, but if we need, we can also print on the back side of the printer. For printing of uh, big elements, we are using a special bed, which can be shifted outside of the studio, and then we can use a crane or a forklift to, to remove element from the platform and then deliver to the side. So the, these are the middle pieces for the facade. Uh, so basically, the facade were printed in O shaped elements, and we, we have just cut the, the middle sides. It was much easier to get a, a print that has a bit of a longer path because if you have to print only on one line then you get the edges that are quite difficult to get and, and this allowed us also to get a nice turn to just come back onto the facade and have, have a nice finish in between all the elements. So these are missing pieces but I mean what's good to see is that inside 
you don't basically see the layers. I think that's a misconception that a lot of people have when they see all these layers outside, that they have the impression that inside the element is, is also in layers. Monolithic, yes, yes. Can you say anything about the future for B6 3D? Right. So, yeah, future for, for B6 3D, well, we, we have different kind of applications. So we've, we've done small houses, we've done structural elements, we've done non-structural elements, we've done facades, we've done also urban architecture. Uh, we, we're just finalizing now the, all the, the, the planters and everything for the Expo 2020, um, which was our last big uh, project just <laughs> finishing last week. Um, so, so we, we are just going to explore again the, the, the market with, with all these different uh, elements. I think it always comes with a combination of uh, architect intent and then a prototype or a project and then we come in just to bring a, a solution that, uh, that, that brings basically the advantages of, of 3D computing printing. Today the, the idea is, is to continue spreading, uh, the, the, I think it's educating the market basically, I think it, everybody needs to understand what are the possibilities of 3D printing and then the project will, uh, will start uh, rolling more and more. If somebody is interested in pursuing a project, how do they contact you or reach out and what should they say? Well, we have a website. Uh, Basics 3D and we are on LinkedIn, we are on all the platforms, Instagram also, you can always contact us. Um, obviously the idea for us is to respond as much as we can, the, the demand is quite high, but uh, for sure we will try to help and support. So the, the way it goes is if you have an idea now that you see how these elements are used uh, and the applications that we can perform, you just contact us. Um, with the ID, we have engineering in-house, uh, we also have partners that we are working with that are able to develop elements, that are able to confirm whether the elements is printable or not, and that are able to guarantee basically the, the success of the project. And based on your ID, we bring in the engineering, we are bringing the confirmation of the, the printing, the methodology, and then we can work out a, a project together. This video is sponsored by the Virtual Village of 3D Printed Houses. On all the visits I do, I always take a digital 360 tour. I'll take one of this so that you can walk around the warehouse here and see all the details for yourself, like you're here with me. So, you can sign up for that at the link in the description. If you enjoy this video, make sure to like and subscribe. It really helps me get further in the YouTube journey and visit more exciting projects like this one.